I'm a believer. I believe that every person on this earth is born with purpose. I believe that people are worthy of experiences and opportunities that affirm the equal value of their lives. I believe that all parents deserve to send their children to school and out into the world without fear that their hopes and dreams will be dismissed or that their bodies will be in danger. I believe that all of us should experience life without fear. I believe that we are all born with power and that collectively harnessed, we can change the world. I believe that every single one of us is needed and has an active role to play in our collective struggle for justice. I know that my beliefs are echoed in this room. We are here for the same reasons. We believe in Student U. At Student U, we believe that all children can succeed, that a Durham where all children can succeed is possible, and that our students are the most powerful agents we can leverage to make our beliefs become a reality. While we dream fearlessly of a day when all children are in our community are succeeding, we know that dreams that do not ground themselves in our current reality are in danger of never being realized. Dreams that do not acknowledge the truth about the world in which they are born are in danger of remaining dreams and never being fulfilled. As a result, we acknowledge the need to simultaneously articulate a vision for a world we have yet to experience and to name the urgent work that we need to do in order to ensure that dream becomes a reality. Right now, one out of six black men ages 25 to 54 are either dead or incarcerated. Whites between the ages of 25 and 29 are twice as likely to have bachelor's degrees than Latino and African Americans. 90.3 white students in DPS graduate on time versus 72% of Latino students and 79% of African Americans. Only 11% of low-income students who will enroll in college will graduate within six years. Right now, we have elected a president endorsed by the KKK and whose win has led to genuine fear in our country. While naming our reality is necessary, we also acknowledge that identifying symptoms without discussing the root cause of the problem is an incomplete approach. This is the problem student you exist to solve. As a result of structural racism, poverty, and other systemic injustices, first-generation college-bound students face significant personal and institutional obstacles to educational success. This prevents our entire community from reaching its full potential. But how? How does an organization whose mission is to empower students in the Durham Public Schools to own their education by developing the academic skills and personal well-being necessary to succeed in college and beyond, tackle structural racism, poverty, and systemic injustices? How do we change the narrative around why students in our communities are not succeeding? How do we change outcomes for all children? How do we change the systems which create the environment in which we live? Over the past 10 years, we have committed ourselves to supporting our students and their parents on their journey to and through college, and we have been successful in that work. This work remains core and foundation to our institution and cannot be lost as our identity deepens. By the same token, we must admit that our current programming will not create our bold vision of a Durham where all children can succeed. Our vision requires more of us as parents, as students, as community members, as investors, and of student you as an institution. But what? What is required of us now? It is time to move beyond simply believing that structural racism exists and dreaming that a Durham where all children can succeed is possible to strategic and sustained effort to create that just and equitable world we seek. It is wholly insufficient to affirm that all children are deserving of an education that enables them to thrive without simultaneously investing financial resources in public schools to ensure that such an education is attained for all children. As an organization, it is time for us to articulate a clear strategic plan that will enable us to not only support 
our 450 students in achieving their dreams, but will ensure that we are contributing to building a Durham where all children can succeed. We must have an impatience with rhetoric around race issues that propose race-neutral solutions. I believe that all people are created equal, but I do not believe that our collective liberation is bound in linear solutions that do not address our different realities. We must agree that our plights are different and our solutions should honor those differences. As an organization, we must continue consistently aggregate our results and data to ensure that all of our students are truly succeeding and be willing to change our approach when we identify disparities within our own community. In addition to that, we must internally and publicly denounce decisions, policies, events that negatively influence communities of color. It is time to courageously hold each other accountable for making individual and collective decisions in our public and private spaces that actively bend the moral arc of the universe towards justice. We cannot sit by idly while our places of work, of worship, our families, our friends, our loved ones make decisions that fundamentally oppose our commitment to justice. As an organization, we must first ask ourselves, how are we ensuring that we are an equitable organization that has an anti-racist orientation? As an individual, you too must ask yourself that question. Then, just as we do the brave work of admitting when we fall short of our standard and changing our practices, you too must investigate your own practices and advocate for change when necessary. We are responsible for the impact of the decisions we permit to happen in our midst, even if they are not our own. What is required of you now, as students, as parents, as community partners and investors, is to courageously stand with us, to not just believe with us, but to actively fight with us, to continue to support us and invest in us as we deepen and reimagine our work to investigate your actions and to ensure that they are actively creating a germ where all children can succeed. The consequences of our individual and collective inaction and our complacency with the status quo is a world where our children are forced to dream of a day where their basic rights are met. Because no one should have to dream of being treated with respect, because no one should have to dream of an equal education because no one should have to dream of having equal opportunities to thrive, because no one should have to dream of safety. We owe it to our students and to their dreams to be more steadfast in our convictions and bolder and more courageous in our private and public actions to create a world that is truly just and where they can succeed. This work is urgent. This work is ours. The time is now. Thank you.